You have seen so many of them on this stage in the last two days doing their thing. Doing what? Chadu Karita? Isko 14,000 crore ke bond nikle. Kya is hoor saraba kare ho bhai? A. Amit Shah here is being given a platform to spew absolute bullshit. Then Congress will be like, Acha, tera to Modi dekhna, kaise kaise plane mein ghumta rehta hai, scuba diving karta hai, na 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 na. We are observers in this boxing match. We are boxing not match. the players. Because, I mean, I get it. It is basically people punching each other verbally every night. So, listen to Kalli Puri, ma'am. Don't watch their channels. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Hello, internet nerd friends. This is a reaction video. We are going to watch this short clip of uh, Kalli Puri. She's the executive editor-in-chief at the India Today group. And she's giving a vote of thanks at the India Today conclave. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. Our whole attempt is to bring our audience from extremes to a place of constructive disagreement. My whole team is built on till death do us, sorry, till built to argue till death do us apart. And built to argue till death do us apart. Okay. As the executive editor in chief, I get the fun job of dealing with a newsroom full of strongly opinionated, argumentative, rebellious, questioning, hustling individuals, which is all the characteristics of a good journalist. You have seen so many of them on this stage in the last two days doing their thing. Okay. You know what? I believe her. I do. I believe her. I'm sure there are enough people within the organization working hard to express their opinions and dissent. Yeah, within the organization. Behind closed doors. But whether or not the, their dissent is actually reflected on TV news channels, their channels, yeah, that's up to the editors, no? So, you can dissent all you want, but unless it goes through that editorial filter of whether that dissent should show on TV, it is completely up to people like Kalli Puri and uh, Rahul Kanwal and Aaj Tak uh, star anchors to decide, right? Also, she said that, uh, you know, you saw all these people on stage doing their thing. Doing what? Chatu Karita? Chatugiri? Uh, wait, I, I need to pull up an example of their star anchor doing his thing at this very conclave. So, uh, this is a clip that was posted by India Today. Uh, Union Minister Amit Shah addresses the issue of electoral bonds exclusively at the India Today conclave. I want to come to the next issue. That is electoral bonds. Ka. Electoral bonds are public. Hui. उसके बाद सब जगह चर्चा चल रही है सब अपनी गणित अर्थमेटिक मिनिस्ट्री सब लगा रहे हैं दो तीन चीजें निकल के आ रही है पहली बात तो ये कि जो टॉप 30 डोनर हैं उनमें से कम से कम आधे पे कुछ ना कुछ किस्म का सीबीआई या ईडी का कोई केस चल रहा है तो राहुल गांधी पीसी कर रहे हैं विपक्ष के नेता बोल रहे हैं वो कह रहे हैं कि ये उगाही का मैकेनिज्म हो गया कि एक तरफ से एजेंसी भेजते हैं दूसरी तरफ से बोलते हैं इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड ले लो तो फिर हम नहीं करेंगे ये जो पूरा पॉलिटिकल विवाद बन रहा है इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स को लेकर उस पे गृहमंत्री जी आपका क्या कहना है ओके दैट वाज अ डीसेंट क्वेश्चन टू बी फेयर यू नो उगाही मीनिंग एक्सटॉर्शन सो राहुल कन्वल देयर इज आस्किंग कि इन दिस इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स केस ऑपोजिशन मेंबर्स हैव बीन क्लेमिंग दैट ईडी एंड आईटी एंड सीबीआई हैज बीन यूज्ड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट मोर डोनेशंस फ्रॉम पीपल एंड गिव इट टू पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट इट मिस्टर होम मिनिस्टर इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड भारतीय राजनीति में से काले धन का वर्चस्व समाप्त करने के लिए लाया गया था सुप्रीम कोर्ट जो फैसला देती है वो सबको मानना होता है मैं इस पर कोई टिप्पणी करना नहीं चाहता अभी भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में सोमवार को सुनवाई होनी मैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट के फैसले पर कोई टिप्पणी नहीं करता मैं किसी भी मंच पर किसी भी व्यक्ति से चर्चा करने के लिए तैयार हूं इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड ये भारतीय राजनीति में से काला धन समाप्त करने के लिए लाया गया कोई मुझे ये समझा दे कि इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड आने के पहले किस तरह से चंदा आता था तो कैश से आता था बॉन्ड में किस तरह से आता है तो अपनी कंपनी के चेक आर को देकर एक बॉन्ड परचेज करते हैं और देते हैं ओके okay. He's right. 
he's actually right you know earlier before electoral bonds uh, there was a lot of cash donations being given to political parties and they didn't have to reveal it so a lot of black money got funneled into politics etc they had brought in the electoral bonds to make sure that only quote unquote white money goes in so the only way you can purchase the electoral bond was through check dd bank transfers etc then that bond would be taken and given to a political party what he does not uh, tell you though is that basically the bond was also like a cash note it was a currency note that was special for political parties so the feature of the cash which was it is anonymous nobody will know who is going to pay it is the feature of the electoral bonds as well so the money that comes in can come through a shell company whatever or legit money from a bank account of a uh, corporate or whatever right but in the middle before it is given to political party it is anonymized it is as good as cash that is the problem there isme gopneeta ka sawal aa gaya jo cash mein chanda aata tha uska kya hua kis tarah ka naam jahir hua is again when he is talking about transparency he is going back to the cash example kind of proving my point that electoral bonds uh, same questions about cash why aren't you asking those questions are but chala gaya na i mean it's okay why that kisi ka nahi hua parantu main rajnitik cheezo ko zyada detail mein jawab dena chahta hu ek perception chalaya ja raha hai rajnitik electoral bonds se yes yes bhartiya janata party ko bada fayda hua hai kyunki bhartiya janata party power mein bla 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 और अभी राहुल गांधी ने तो स्टेटमेंट कर दिया कि दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी उगाही का अगर कोई जरिया है तो इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड है मालूम नहीं इनको कौन ये सब लिख कर देता है मैं पोजीशन हुए 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 आई शुड हैव द साउंड इफेक्ट्स नो एडिट करते हैं ना फिर से इसको विद द साउंड इफेक्ट्स राहुल गांधी ने तो स्टेटमेंट कर दिया कि दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी उगाही का अगर कोई जरिया है तो इलेक्ट्रोल बॉन्ड है मालूम नहीं इनको कौन ये सब लिख कर देता है एनीवे कंटिन्यूइंग आज देश की जनता के सामने स्पष्ट कर देना चाहता हूं भारतीय जनता पार्टी को अप्रोक्सीमेटली 6000 करोड़ के बॉन्ड मिले हैं टोटल बॉन्ड बीस करोड़ के हैं तो चौदह करोड़ के बॉन्ड कहाँ गए मैं बताता हूँ टीएमसी को 1600 करोड़ के मिले कांग्रेस को 1400 करोड़ के मिले बीआरएस को 1200 करोड़ के मिले बीजेडी को सात करोड़ के मिले और डीएमके को छः करोड़ के मिले अब अगर तेर राज्यों में और 303 सांसद 11 करोड़ मेंबरशिप वाली पार्टी और देश के सभी यूनिट में पार्टी का योग मिला ले इन लोगों का इतना करे मानो कांग्रेस में अभी पैंतीस सांसद है उनके तीन हो तो क्या हो एक लगाते हैं तो टीएमसी को बीस हजार करोड़ के बॉन्ड होते हैं बीआरएस को चालीस हजार और कांग्रेस पार्टी को नौ हजार करोड़ तो की बात कर रहा हूं देश में हमारे तीन सौ तीन सांसद है हमें छह हजार करोड़ के बॉन्ड मिले हैं और दो सौ बयालीस सांसद जिन पार्टियों का है इसको चौदह करोड़ के बॉन्ड निकले क्या शोर शराबा करे हो भाई सो ए अमित शाह इज बींग गिवेन अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू स्प्यू absolute bullshit i'm just calling it as it is he is trying to divide up the number of bonds received by the parties with the number of mp seats that they have members of parliament they have so by his bizarre his bizarre logic goes something like uh, other parties pro- proportionately took more money than the bjp per mp seat so it's it's a weird argument i mean so you are saying chori ki hai ha chor 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 ki but jisne zyada chori kyunki divide kam hua uh okay and rahul kanwal just takes it he he just like yeah sure yeah amazing amazing argument sir amazing uh does not counter question you cannot see he does not interrupt at any point of time he does not even tell amit shah that the very basis of his argument the numbers he is quoting is just wrong yeah he doesn't let me show you so this is a fact check that was done by the quint uh, home minister amit shah's remarks on electoral bonds contradicts public data so basically amit shah claimed that opposition parties got 14000 crore whereas bjp got 60 6000 crore that is completely wrong 
the the figures he's stating is completely wrong so according to the election commission of india and what the revelations are the total worth of electoral bonds that were issued was approximately 12000 crores right and out of that out of that bjp got 6000 crore which is about 50% of the total money went to the bjp of electoral bonds he's saying oh 20000 crore 6000 crore so proportionately it looks like how to matlab baki ke parties ko zyada mila it's wrong it's just plain wrong then he quotes all those figures after that but if the base amount he has quoted is so big it just doesn't make any sense anymore does it the proportionality completely goes out of whack trinamool congress 1600 crore congress 1400 crore brs 1200 crore biju janata dal 775 crore dmk 639 crore ysr 337 crore tdp 218 crore shiv sena 148 crore 158 crore my bad rashtriya janata dal 72 crore that's the top 10 beneficiaries of electoral bonds again bharatiya janata party got 6000 crore of the 12000 crore total bonds money that was purchased so wrong anyway elephant food eating star anchors aside uh, let's go back to his boss kalipuri we are not afraid to ask questions Our newsroom is built on dissent, an uneasy peace, if you like, and I would not have it any other way. I think it makes us better. More perspectives, the merrier. Makes our stories more calibrated. I see some disapproving heads over there. Calibrated? You're right. Every media in this country is right. So more perspectives. Sure, we know what you're talking about. talking heads screaming and shouting at each other on prime time is not exactly perspective giving it is a screaming at each other yeah you can't give perspectives when screaming at people i mean think about how debates work right it's like anchor will be like oh look uh, this is the issue r- happening right now it is an issue of corruption and then they will, let's go and uh, talk to the bjp spokesperson about this bjp spokesperson ha but i'm telling you is congress ke time pe also this corruption had happened then congress spokesperson uh, anchor will let's go to the congress spokesperson congress spokes ha so bjp right now is doing corruption okay look at them look at this look at these details look 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 blah, blah, blah. then bjp will be like are tu kya baat kar rahi hai tera to matlab pappu hai to to matlab biscuit khate hai then congress will be like acha tera to modi dekhna kaise kaise plane mein ghumta rehta hai scuba diving karta hai na 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 then experts are brought in were like na 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 perspective 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 ah perspective that's not how perspectives are given friends that's just not how it works it is a verbal wrestling match on tv on prime time every every day literally every day all the time um with the anchors of course poking them and egging them on yeah also she said uh, there are some nods of disagreement on the side right right what was that happening sorry i see some disapproving heads over there calibrated you're right every media in this country is right you're right uh, calibrated every uh, nods of dis right what does she mean exactly right as in correct like right you're right or right does it mean like right ideology like news channels are at the right following the right ideology what what is she talking about anyway i don't even want to anyway before you make your decision do consider this the media cannot play the role of the opposition expecting it to do that leads to unfair charges of godi or modi media if the opposition is in disarray the media cannot be blamed for it we cannot present an other side equally strongly if it doesn't exist wait if the other side doesn't exist what are you even talking about okay wait so let's understand her perspective a little bit okay so for her the opposition is not effective enough so you know the other side doesn't exist right sure but 
that totally depends on her perspective of who she sees as the opposition right so our tv media has a habit of thinking uh, of only political parties and the people who belong to the political parties as you know the opposition or the ruling right so people who belong to the bjp or oh, ruling uh, or oh, people who belong to the uh, congress opposition right but to be honest the opposition is a lot more than that just political parties there are common people citizens who are dissenting and are very much the opposition as well completely discounting them is not the way to go so the dissent exists you are just not looking at it just yeah you know what i need to talk about this in detail a little bit because it it gives us a lot of insights this whole thing this is basically a clever way to not highlight dissent i realized godi media has come up with a tactic where they don't have to show dissent against the government on one hand their anchors will keep cursing and attacking the opposition parties you know like calling them you know like ineffective pappu you saw the laughs earlier right toy oy 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 types then they also claim that oh look they are so ineffective only so they are showing the bad things about the opposition and how how ridiculously stupid and ineffective they are and then saying oh look they are so ineffective only sure and on top of all this they'll say are since there is no dissent against the bjp see see no dissent is this what dissent looks like is this the ineffective dissent so there is no dissent yeah so see everybody loves modi ji everybody loves bjp char so par yada 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 now we are not talking about whether bjp will win or lose we are talking about how many seats will bjp get because there is in their heads in their perspective and the perspective they are trying to build for you the public dissent doesn't exist we are observers in this boxing match we are boxing not match. the players if one side is weak or doesn't show up we cannot jump into the ring this is not fear this is a matter of rules roles and competence we are the medium we are not the message yeah so boxing match analogy well done well done on that one uh, madam kalli puri because i mean i get it it is basically people punching each other verbally every night so well done there but here's the thing kallipuri here thinks that it is a boxing match between the ruling party and the opposition party from her perspective and from her star anchor's perspective also of course it is that way it is actually convenient to present it that way as well media is only doing commentary according to her look bjp threw a punch at the congress ooh look congress went down and is crying on the floor ah ha ha look so incompetent fights are always fun to watch yes i know you get trps because of it but there is something else happening here this way of looking at things is just plain wrong in reality if you want to look at it as a boxing match let's use the same analogy it is a match between the government on one side and the citizens on the other side if you want to talk about the boxing match the media's job is to question the government with the citizens so yes they are very much in the ring with the people so the citizens also include the media because the voices of the citizens are amplified by the media in this boxing match it is a boxing match between those who have power and those who don't and it is the job of the media to present the side of those who don't have power so that they can effectively question the government and the party in power i can't believe i have to go into such basics but i guess we are living in times where even journalism 101 has to be explained like this by showing some bad examples of what journalism isn't secondly our role as media is to take you as close to the primary source of information as we can not 6 degrees of separation but 2 we hope you saw that in the last 2 days and we'll hear from the mea and pm this evening 
yeah we we saw that we saw that you brought in a primary source of information which was amit shah and then let him openly spew misinformation on this very stage so if the primary source is just saying whatever uh, and the media is not questioning the source also or correcting them when they are spewing misinformation what is your point exactly why why does that person even exist there right you know like you can just put like questions on a screen right behind the person and the person will be like am a question bhi pad deta hu ha what is your opinion on electoral ball so here's what i think 20000 crore we got la 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 misinformation misinformation bullshit 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 ha next question uh, screen pe daliye screen pe that is basically the job of the anchor waha pe in this conclave right now and you're talking to me about oh we get give you the news from the primary source of information the primary source can be incorrect also questioning them is your job to straight from the ground or the newsmaker with minimum loss in transition and translation clean last mile of information and we always focus on that clean There last are mile conclaves galore yes and we're we are sandwiched between many of them ourselves so sad but i think for the reasons reasons above we are different so as we get into election mode and we see the great intoxication and toxification of news uh intoxication and toxification of news do choose your news source your leader and your conclave very wisely sorry uh, have to say uh, who is doing the toxification exactly who is it doing the toxification i wonder good that she brought it up because her channels are directly responsible for adding the toxification that she talks about not just her channel a lot of uh, godi media tv channels are responsible for the toxification uh, choose your channels wisely friend she's actually giving you good advice choose not to watch tv and participate in this toxicity this this absolute bull crap that is being fed to you listen to kalli puri ma'am don't watch their channels <laughs> thanks for the advice the last two days you have made the right choice baby baby so thank you partners for your generous sponsorship okay feedback and support and thank you as always sponsors uh, let's talk about the sponsors yes yes do you see this So when this clip happened look at this look at this sequence okay reasons reasons above we are different so as we get into election mode and we see the great do you see the grand span sponsor unveiling that is happening here rp sanjeev goenka group yeah i need to tell you about them so this is a story in reporters collective uh, on march 15th which which came after the big dump of electoral bonds data came out So among top 20 electoral bond donors to RPSG uh, the the sponsor this one this one kada kidhar gaya re this one RP Sanjeev Goenka yeah two RPSG firms flagged by CAG for coal auction rigging TRC investigation exposed the role of two firms that played a key role in rigging bids during the country's first ever coal auction to help the group's flagship firm form win the coal mine block so the names of the companies are in the, in the electoral bonds donors and recipients released by the election commission the two firms played a key role in rigging bids during the country's first ever auction to help group's flagship firm win coal block and were caught by the government's auditor cag very important okay so the union government is aware of this rigging and the two firms donated a together a total amount of rupees 485 crore through electoral bonds to political parties whose identity is yet, yet to be matched one of the prominent companies that was in the list is haldia energy which is related to rpsg they donated over 370 crore through electoral bonds making it the fourth largest donor and the second is dhariwal infrastructure another rp sanjeev goenka group firm which along with cesc acquired the shell company and dhariwal donated 115 crore making it the 17th largest donor via electoral bond so 17th larger and fourth larger are related to the sponsor of this show which 
kind of explains why you know the show was allowed like they allowed this kind of bs to just liberally spread across the world in in this conclave okay you need to understand something for the last decade our tv media has been criticized and called out for being a godi and chatukar i mean you must have heard of it meaning that they bat for their favorite party and a supreme leader adarniya shri sir his holiness maximum authority narendra ji modi ji the first those who see what is going on and have been screaming about it people like me fact checking them debunking their propaganda and also telling people not to watch tv yeah we all know the slave mentality that tv media has been exhibiting for the past decade but it is quite rare when someone prominent from godi media like uh, like madam kalli puri she actually gives you an insight into what their mentality is and how they actually look at quote unquote news in this vote of thanks she actually gave us a nice little insight into how godi media thinks here's how they do it number 1 they think it's a ruling party versus opposition political party boxing match and uh, they are merely dramatic commentators talking about the match number 2 it's not their fault if the opposition parties are weak okay uh, it actually proves uh, that they are weak so why, why what is our fault number 3 they don't see any dissent uh, so what are they supposed to cover so they choose not to see dissent also that's why they don't know what to cover number 4 their journalists and employees also dissent she pointed that out there is like a vibrant conversation happening in the newsroom just that the editors take a call at the end uh, on whether they want to show that dissent on tv or not and usually it's not Oh, and number five, more importantly, must point this out: the title sponsor gave electoral bonds to the political party whose representative was on the stage of this conclave, and she also thanked the sponsor for making this possible. So, donation, electoral bonds, a uh, sponsor, money, uh, media. Oh, wow! I don't see any objectivity here. I don't know if you do but do you see the nice little picture that is forming right here in this clip anyway thanks for watching and see you in my live stream that I do every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. I'll be covering the electoral bonds issue much deeply over this week so if you are if you want to hang out if you want a chill session where we are talking about electoral bonds and some other nerdy things please do come by 9 pm monday wednesday and friday and please do subscribe to this channel very much appreciated and also consider turning on the notification so that you know when i come live and you can come chill see you in the next video or live stream bye bye